The following is from Genesis chapter 14, 1 through chapter 14, 12. A complete non-stop reading. At the time when Amraphel was king of Shinar, Ariat king of Elisar, Kedorlomer king of Elam, and Tidal king of Goyim, these kings went to war against Bera king of Sodom, Bursha king of Gomorrah, Shinab king of Adma, Shemeber king of Zeboim, and the king of Bela, that is, Zoar. All these latter kings joined forces in the valley of Sidim, that is, the Dead Sea Valley. For twelve years they had been subject to Kedor Lomer, but in the thirteenth year they rebelled. In the fourteenth year, Kedor Lomer and the kings allied with him, went out and defeated the Raphates in Ashtaroth Karnaam, the Zuzites in Ham, the Emites in Shavakiria Time, and the Horites in the hill country of Seir as far as El Paran near the desert. Then they turned back and went to En Mishpat, that is Kadesh and they conquered the whole territory of the Amalekites, as well as the Amorites who were living in Hazazon Tamar. Then the king of Sodom, the king of Gomorrah, the king of Adma, the king of Zeboim, and the king of Bela, that is. Zoar marched out and drew up their battle lines in the valley of Sidim, against Kedorlaomer king of Elam, Tidal king of Goyim, Amraphel king of Shinar, and Ariach king of Elisar, four kings against five. Now the valley of Sidim was full of tar pits, and when the kings of Sodom and Gomorrah fled, some of the men fell into them, and the rest fled to the hills. The four kings seized all the goods of Sodom and Gomorrah and all their food. Then they went away. They also carried off Abram's nephew Lot and his possessions since he was living in Sodom. Next update. Genesis chapter 14.13 through chapter 14.24. Please subscribe for update notifications.